Hi everyone, happy holidays. Just wanted to check in. This is Kit. Wanted to let you know what's happening in the Hope community and what has happened in the Hope community this week. Um, on Monday, a big courageous young lady, um, Ebony Hope, spoke about her struggle with bulimia um, and how God has helped her to overcome those struggles and helping her to overcome that struggle. So she she speaks out about eating disorders. It's a really powerful hope devotion and grateful to God for um, Ebony's continued healing and moving forward and speaking about this issue. Um, on Tuesday, Sonia Ja spoke about um, how as leaders, we often have power but God has called us to use that power to help give other people um, the opportunity to share their voice. Um, it's a very liberating hope devotion. So please, if you haven't read it, go back and check it out. Um, Terry Ann sp spoke about be careful what you think in regards to your thoughts and, and how powerful our thoughts can be. Kent spoke about, did a Hope Artist reflection on a parable of the fish. And Brian on tomorrow is speaking about um, being human in December and speaking about the, the holiday season. Uh, Christmas is next Wednesday. <laughs> Time is moving by so quickly. And so I'll check in before Christmas, but I pray that you all are having a blessed Christmas um, as you prepare for next Wednesday. I pray that those who have lost loved ones or, or who are missing their loved ones, I pray that the peace of God is with you um, and that you're surrounded by people um, who love you, right? And that you're not alone. Well, you're never alone because God is always present, but just pray that you're surrounded with love. I um, just wanted to remind us, Jesus is the reason for the season. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to Jesus. And just wanted to um, connect with a couple verses to encourage us as we uh, celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Luke 2 chapter um, Luke chapter 2 verse 11 says, for, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. 2 Corinthians 9.15 says, Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. God gave us a gift, Jesus Christ. And we should celebrate that every day. But we, we celebrate that on Christmas as well. Um, and so thanks be to God for Christmas. Thanks be to God for Jesus. Um, wanted to lift up um, our hope writer, Erica Dunbar, who is healing after giving her grandmother one of her kidneys last week. The surgery went well and she's moving forward in her healing, her and her grandmother. Um, so if you would like to donate, um, you can donate on the Testimonies of Hope page. We encourage you to donate if you want to give a gift, a Christmas gift. Um, they Any type of support, financial support, to donate to the Doris Pitts Kidney Transplant Fund would be greatly appreciated. Again, uh, you can check out donation links on testimoniesofhope.org, and we'll get those donations to Erica and her grandmother. All right, so God bless. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week and weekend. Thanks for being a part of the Hope community. We are in the final stages of editing our book. Thanks be to God. It's been a journey. There are over 50 writers and 11 translators. So it's taken some time to get everything together in a very uh, organized and, and steady way. But some powerful Hope devotions in our in our first book. And thankful for, for everyone who contributed to the project. And so that will be on your bookshelf soon. <laughs> Yay. All right. God bless. Talk to you later. Peace.